Hello and welcome back to my channel. As previously announced, I will start to redo some older tutorials uh, now. And the first one which I'm redoing is the one about the attack move. So first of all, what is the attack move effect? Well, in the editor you got uh, conditions and effects and if a certain condition is met, then the chosen effect will take place. I will just demonstrate this quickly here. As soon as this tree became visible, uh, both of those armies started to use attack move into each other, basically. And the attack move can choose up to 60 units. If you have more than 60 units, then you will need multiple attack move effects. And, well, they will just run into each other and fight, basically. This is, uh, in theory, quite simple. But it's very important, you can do a lot of things with the attack move. Now I should maybe, after talking about what the attack move is, show you how to implement that. Just a little example here. So, you will need a certain condition. So for uh, simplicity's sake, I will use a timer of 5 ticks. And as soon as the timer has run out, an effect will take place. I will choose Effect Attack Move. Now, uh, what do you need to, set to select in those lists here? We could do this multiple ways. We could either go to Source Player Player 2 and select Objects. Select all of those. Those guys are selected, those are the ones attacking. If you don't know where the units will actually be, or if you uh, if the units are not there at the beginning of the scenario, you can also use set area. So you click set area, yeah, then you select the area you know the attacking units will be, or you could also just mark the whole map if you have no idea where the enemies will be, but you still want them to attack. And uh, the next one you need to do is set location. So. Uh, the unit will attack everything between them and their location, so if I select this as their location and it's also important, always check if the area and the location got saved. So you see, if I select, uh, go to location, I jump to location, but uh, the set area did not save. And to make sure a trigger always saves what you set is, well, select an area and then click on attack move again. So now you see go to area is saved, go to location is saved. Just make sure to after you select an area also click on the effect afterwards. What are the other lists in here? I could select here only really units make sense or maybe heroes but buildings uh, and others usually cannot utilize the attack move properly. But you can also say I only want specific unit types to attack or here unit groups. They can be uh, relatively confusing. For example, a soldier is only infantry units. A conquistador got a whole uh, different class here. Not that uh, easy to use, but easier is the object type. So basically select a military here will make sure that no villagers will move into an attack and something in that direction. Yeah, but I guess that makes sense. <laughs> now um, we got the attack move set up. And we should try it out, yeah. <laughs> so, you see, five takes have been passed. The new units are moving in. As soon as these units get into aggression range, I see, okay, enemy units will attack those first. Let me speed this up slightly. Okay, and another thing about attack move. Uh, they are fighting in formation, and if parts of the formation are somewhere else, uh, the rest will wait for them usually. So you always, uh, or most of the time, should have the biggest amount of units in a certain area possible. Okay, so this was uh, basically how you use the attack move on a on a very well easy level. Uh, you can do a lot more fancy th things with this, but um, yeah, you should have an idea how to utilize the attack move. Before there was the attack move we had a task object. So task object when used on uh, military units 
basically is relatively similar to the attack move. You will select units, they will move somewhere, if they get attacked they fight back. But task object, if used for just attacking, has uh, some advantages and also disadvantages over attack move. First of all the advantage, if you uh, want to see it at this, uh, they don't go into formation. Sometimes you just want the faster units to arrive first. The attacks just look bigger if you use class object because they are not all in, in a tight formation, they are going broad and it looks a little bit more epic in my opinion. Task objects also allows you if you got um, a trebuchet for example to let that trebuchet um, deploy on a specific a tower or on a specific gate if you want the AI to be a little bit more precise. But if there are buildings in the way between them and their goal and they have uh, well and those buildings are for example barricades they're just blocking away and task object can have some problems with this i will just demonstrate this quickly if i select this tower the ai will use task object so you see here no formation knights arrive first because they were in the first lane and um, also the fastest and yeah now you see the archers and the skirmishers are fighting but the rest are just trying to get in here there's just no way they can walk in without fighting they don't attack walls oftentimes also don't attack other buildings sometimes they do attack barricades though and only a few of them i think this is something to do with their aggression range or something but yeah this is strange of course um it's, well most of them did not fight then some just decided to attack the barricades not ideal of course And another thing about the task object, if they just move somewhere and, well, they don't have any more enemies in sight, they oftentimes will just stop moving, also will not start moving again until an enemy is within their line of sight. So this makes it easier to deal with those attacks because as soon as a military unit goes idle here, is neither walking nor fighting, it will just stop with the attack. As long as there are enemy units inside, however, they will continue fighting and moving onwards. Okay, but now I will demonstrate the same thing, except I'm using the attack move this time. I select the other watchtower. You see, those guys are getting into formation, but as soon as they see something they can attack and they recognize the barricades and other non-fighting buildings as targets, they break the formation and start to fight. So uh, both crossbows and knights are actually focusing down the barricades and this will allow them to enter watch more quickly. So you see as soon as they find a way in, they will uh, mostly stop the aggression on those non-military buildings and see uh, if they can fight any higher priority units, which they currently are. So let's just speed this up slightly, as you see here, those guys are keeping uh, the pressure on as soon as one building gets destroyed they straight move up to the next one and uh, they make this attack a whole lot more efficient okay i think uh, you're getting the idea of what uh, the attack move does compared to task object well most of the times attack move really is um is better than task object for these kind of things. Okay, so you should now have a good idea how to first of all use attack move, what it just does in general, and where you can use task object and where you can use attack move. So this should uh, hopefully make the next scenario a little bit better maybe you get uh, curious and might want to start your first scenario now if you got any problems with the attack move just uh, write me a comment under this video or add me on steam and i can help you out there i hope you found this helpful and uh, if you enjoyed it also let me know i would like to thank you for watching this video and wish you a great day goodbye